if the radius of a pipe widens to three times its original size what is the ratio of the flow speed in the wider section to that in the narrow section so this is a water pipe uh, radius right here suppose is r1 and the radius here is r2 okay uh, this section is narrower in comparison to this one and according to the equation this broader section this widens about three times it's not about exactly three times the original size right here at the beginning this side okay uh, if a1 is the cross-sectional area area of this cross-section this side is a1 and the velocity right here is b1 area of cross-section here at this side is a2 and the velocity is b2 then according to continuity equation continuity equation we can write down area of cross section here velocity equal to area of cross section here multiplied by velocity so this is the con uh, continuity equation from here our goal is to find uh, final velocity the ratio of in final velocity to initial velocity and this is given by a1 divided by a2 okay as given in the equation r2 is three times r1 how can you find the cross-sectional area cross-sectional area of the pi is denoted by a and given by pi r squared so a1 will be equal to pi r1 squared and a2 will be equal to pi r2 squared so these are cross-sectional areas now let's put this in above equation b2 divided by b1 is equal to pi r1 square divided by pi r2 square okay but r2 is 3 r1 so i can put pi r1 square divided by by 3r1 square okay or we can say b2 divided by b1 is equal to let me cancel out this pi and the pi this will be r1 square divided by 9 r1 square r1 square r1 square will again be cancelled and b2 divided by b1 is equal to 1 by 9 so this is the required ratio of the velocity at wider wider side right here this is the wider side this side to the velocity at this narrower side right here okay let's go down here b2 divided by b1 is equal to 1 ninth this means the flow speed the flow speed decreases by decreases by a factor of 9 okay what will happen is if this pipe widens at this point this side velocity of this p2 will be less than p1 right and that that is nine times less in comparison to b1 